Hi, I'm John with Valley, and today we are going to add a new device to Base Station 3. So once we're logged in, we are going to go to the upper left, drop this down, select device management. Now there's going to be two pieces of information that you need before you get started. Uh, you're going to need the RTU ID, and you are also going to need the panel type. Uh, you could also, if you have it, grab the location, the latitude and longitude of the new device, but that's optional. We can add that later. Down here, select device management. Once you do that, your screen is going to look a little odd, but that's okay. That just confirms that you are in device management view. At the top is add device. That is going to drop down a menu. In this case today, for this example, we're going to add a pivot. Once we select add a pivot, it opens up the configuration uh, device view. So right off the bat, RTU ID, let's use 152. The device name, that can be whatever you want to put in there, that we'll call it the friendly name. Just whatever you call that field. Next is where we enter what panel is on the pivot itself. In this case, we are going to say that we have a Pro 2 Plus panel out there. And then if you have more than one farm set up on your base station, this is where you would select which farm this machine is going to show up on. It, a pivot or a device can only show up on one farm. In this case, we'll choose Valley. Now, the plat ID, this is just an optional field that you can enter some other information that helps you identify this pivot. Pivot location, this is already filled out for us. You fill out the latitude and longitude, otherwise it will put the device where uh, the latitude and longitude of your actual base is. Now if you have a part circle pivot, this is where you would enter the left angle and the right angle, so it's displayed on your map view correctly. And if you have a pivot road that you want to add in, you can enter that angle here. The machine length and the end gun radius, that's, those are all optional pieces of information that you can enter in. But for today, we're just going to leave those blank and select next. That takes us to the communication view. This is how we set up Base Station 3 to communicate with this device. If you have more than one communication channel set up, we would select it from here. We're going to select SIM 4. If you're not sure, call your Valley dealer. They can help you out with that. Um, down here, we can control polling, change the polling period. Polling is when Base Station calls out to that pivot to get a status. Uh, other than that, all the rest of this information we don't need to change. We can select Next, and this is where you're going to enter the information that is on the sprinkler chart for the sprinkler package that's on the machine right now. This is uh, where we enter how the water flow is measured, the gallons per minute on the sprinkler package, the irrigated area, and there's some constants over here like the minimum application, the stop and slot angle, the second place you can enter that, uh, minimum hours per revolution, and if you're using auxiliaries, you can also change uh, the label for those auxiliaries. As an example, you can name one chemicals fertilizer. Once we're done with that, we'll select Next. That will take us to where we set up our alarms. There's some default values in here. Typically, I just advise you leave them at the default values unless you know right now what you want to set them at because you can always go back later and change them and adjust how those uh, alarms are set. Once we're done with that, we'll hit Done. And it's going to ask you if you want to save your changes. We're going to say yes and it's going to add that device to this Base Station 3 installation. Now when the device is added, let's go back up here to the upper left and select our operational view. Now when that device is added, you'll notice it has kind of an opacity to it. Uh, it's not going to show an actual status color until we communicate with that device. So click on it to open it up. 
And the easiest way is get status, in which Base Station 3 is going to call out and try and talk to that pivot. In this case it did, and it comes back with this information. So we're all set for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, contact your local Valley dealer.